Cellular network can remain Falcon and stuff. You see this huge potential about Brave Browser products. The interesting point is that Mr. Masa. So this is Applies Analysis January 26. So let's start. And from BAT, Brave Browser. First of all, I want to tell you the pretty good news about Brave Browser. So privacy-focused Brave Browser become first browser to support IPFS. This is amazing news about future product and user development of the Brave Browser. Why? Because IPFS is a P2P file sharing network like BitTrends or like Firecoin stuff. So Brave Browser, since it's applications, okay? So once you're gonna download that application to your laptop or your smartphone, there are certain size of storage in this you know, personal computer, right? Once you're gonna give the permission to the Brave Browser to use this extra space of your storage here, so Brave Browser, they can use those huge amount of storage space just like a BitTrend model like Firecoin model. Then, you know, since you're gonna provide this extra storage to the P2P financial network, you can make money as an incentive stuff. Maybe you can get the BAT token or something, okay? Then the key point from here is actually active user stats. So these are the, you know, Brave Browser competitor about P2P financial network, like Seattle network, Helium, Firecoin, Ethereum also, in the future, once they're gonna make this complete about fully decentralized cloud computing system, they also can take care of the P2P storage stuff too, so it's kind of right still, and the Brave and Dense. Then once we can look at the you know, daily active user, 7.8 million every day, they're gonna play just like, you know, active node, cellular network, Helium and Firecoin stuff. You see this huge potential about Brave Browser products. The interesting point is actually price move here. Because, so here's a, you know, for our chart of the Brave Browser. So they place release the news is here, January 19th. But no price reaction here. But actually, I tweeted, you know, this idea stuff on my tweets because I already predicted those potential in my analysis of the Brave Browser. If you want to understand this point, please check out my other video about the BAT token. Then that timing was January 20th. Since then, the BAT price, it's bridge momentum here, okay? Then, this kind of timeline might be coming from, you know, I'm kind of unique crypto investor here in the market, you know, deeply analyze technical elements of the each product stuff. No one recognized that huge potential of the Brave Browser about, you know, P2P file sharing network. Then since, you know, Japanese investor can buy the BAT token on a Japanese crypto exchange, so that's why this kind of price movement happening here. At the same time, you know, BAT market itself is relatively small to other, you know, but BAT investment markets still smaller than other major crypto assets like Bitcoin, Ethereum stuff. These kind of price reactions would happen sometimes. That's the things we can learn from here, okay? Then, once we're gonna move out, you know, daily chart, still the you know, price volatility is relatively high, but, you know, once we're gonna analyze the brain band here, looks like price move is throwing up of the middle line of the Bollinger Band. So which means that they still keep the bridge momentum in the market. So which is good, okay? And the next one, the RAM. So let's start for the four hour chart. January 12th, the price was 0 0.31. Now they're gonna hit the all time high, 0 0.7739, January 18th. Then as you can see, these price actions also following up the trend of the Bollinger Band here. So from here, once the price hits on the middle line of Bollinger Band, it's pushed back again. Here, same things. Then they're gonna update their all-time high here. Then even when price experience and correction momentum, once the price hits, the bottom line of the Bollinger Band, it's pushed back again. So this is also another good thing out of that still the REM price itself keeping bullish momentum. Okay, then once we're gonna move to weekly chart here, actually bullish momentum of the rent is starting from here. 220 March 16th, 
price was 0 0.02654. Okay, then now here, this candle chart means it's kind of turning point of the rent price itself. Then, you know, as I analyze in the Bollinger Band here, still the rent keeping the bullish momentum. And also, in my analysis, our coin bullish momentum will continue until the beginning of the February. So, from this one, analysis, Rand BM can try a little higher price around this number here. Then, you know, once we got the you know, trend volume, you know, developments here, also quite positive news. So, overall, Rand itself still keeping the bullish momentum. Okay? And the next one, OGN. So, let's start from the news. So, Origin Protocol begins accepting compensation claims following 7 million exploit. Which is really good news, right? Then, what about the price reactions? So daily chart and weekly chart. Then once we get a look at the daily chart, still the volatility is relatively high, but as you can see here, price moves still throwing up the Bollinger Band. Once the price hit the middle line of the Bollinger Band, push back again here, then they're gonna update you know, this price, January 21, 0.2145. So still they're gonna keep in the bullish momentum. Then once we get a look at the long-term analysis, the weekly chart, actually, when Binance list OZN token, the lowest starting price was this one, 0 0.0989. Then last summer, in a mini bubble moment of the DeFi, they're gonna hit the all time high, 0 0.6426. But after this, along with you know, their scandal about the origin dollar stuff, they're gonna hovering around about the pretty bottom line here. But the great things have done here is price never hit lower price than this all-time low price here, okay? Once we look at the volume level, it's also developing well now. Once we're gonna look at the KDJ here, the short-time line and the middle-time line and then long-term line here, and the short-term line, still there's a space room here, which means that bullish momentum on OZN is still continuing, okay? Overall, OZN market conditions is also good, okay? And next one is theater. So, daily chart and weekly chart. So, these days, seller is pretty good price move. January 12th, they're gonna finally update the all time high, $2.51 here. And it's still, price is throwing up the Bollinger Band price move here. As you can see, the ones the price hit lower side of the Bollinger Band price line, it's pushed back again. Okay? Then now, then now the seller price try to hit over this middle line. That's the thing that's happening here. Then once we're gonna to move to weekly price, first things I want you to pay attention to here is actually this one. 2020, March 9th, the price was 0.03554. Huge success as a project. Then to me, this weekly price move, still, still the bullish power and the bearish power is competing in each other. So the frog forming like this way, but once we're gonna look at you know, this KDJ, the conversion happening here, this means probably until beginning of the February, I told you that our coin bullish momentum will continue. But after that, that momentum switched to the Bitcoin. So it looks like you know, Theater Network's bullish momentum almost close to the end of the moment this time. So that is why price is converging like this way. But if you were thinking to have the long term hold the Theater Network, these converging moments is kind of good timing to think about additional investment for the Theater. Okay? All right, final slide. HODL is the best for retail investor to minimize the risk and maximize the return. Because investment in our coin, just like investment in the early days of the Google and Facebook, once we can look at the legendary investor attractions such as Ron Conway, Peter Thiel, Reid Hoffman, all the time they're gonna take the simple investment approach. It's a long-term investment. And here's another evidence from the Binance. So this is a Bitcoin case, but all the time longest holder of the Bitcoin maximize the return. In this case, you know, all days holder Make the 220% return compared with other short-term holder here. I'm gonna basically also take the long-term investment approach. So I'm gonna also recommend you guys take the same approach too. Okay? So that is all this time. So I'm gonna make this video for the educational purpose. So the contents of the video cannot guarantee you any kind of certain level of investment outcomes. So all final decision making of your investment is your own. Okay? Then, you know, I'm going to make lots of interesting videos on the crypto and the blockchain space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.